हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑन द टॉपिक सेट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई डिस्कस अबाउट कार्डिनलिटी ऑफ ए सेट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई सेट व्हाट इज अ कार्डिनलिटी कार्डिनलिटी इज द नथिंग बट नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द एनी गिवन सेट इफ द गिवन सेट हैज फाइव एलिमेंट्स यू कैन से कार्डिनलिटी ऑफ दैट इज अ फाइव आर यू कैन से कार्डिनल नंबर इज फाइव सो नथिंग कार्डिनल केस इज अ यू कैन से दैट हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर बिलोंग्स टू द सेट सो एंड ऑल्सो आई took some formula like n of a union b is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b what it means of uh, you can say number of elements belongs to a union b can be obtained by using n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b using this formula you can find out number of elements of the a union b or else you can find out any of the thing you can use n of a n of b knowing three things you can find out any one of the thing this is about uh, when you are finding n of a union b this side that second case i did uh, n of a minus b means that the elements belongs to a but not belongs to b that can be obtained by n of a minus n of a intersection b this is the formula and also i did uh, n of a dash intersection b dash is equal to n of universal set minus n of a union b what it means uh, this can be you can say the number of elements belongs to neither a nor b neither a nor b can be obtained by total number of elements of the universal set minus the elements of either a or b means you can say n of a union b using this one you can find out neither a nor b and also we had an that is a uh, one three set case we will take a n of a union b union c is equal to n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b i will write here minus minus n of a intersection b intersection c minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c this is also last case in the case of last class i did these all formulas so using this you can find out uh, how many elements belongs to a union b union c using n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of a intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c and also i did uh, formula related to n of a union b when a intersection b is disjoint if it is a, there is no common element in that case you can say n of a plus n of b it is not necessary to take this so using this formula in the previous class i did so if you want once again you see that previous lecture so i had done all the things using those formula we will solve these type of problems okay so now i can say problems are examples this is now what we are solving problems i have already i wrote here two problems first one and second one so i can say this is a example or problem now i will take first one then i will take a second one what is the first problem i can say example or we are solving i said in the practical life we will solve problems using union and intersection means what i had done in the previous class those all formula we are using and uh, we will solve this type of practical things this type of practical things we will see in daily life this type of problems so we will face so many times this type of problems so using union and intersection these are the tools to solve this type of problems even though you can solve so many problems i will take one by one first one what is the problem listen to me concentrate if x and y are two sets x and y are two sets such that such that x union x union y has how many elements 50 elements 50 elements comma x has how many elements 20 elements 28 elements sorry and y has how many elements 32 elements he is asking how many elements does x intersection y have nothing 
एक्स एंड वाई आर टू सेट सच दैट एक्स यूनियन वाई इज गिवन मीन्स आई कैन से नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एक्स यूनियन वाई इज फिफ्टी सच दैट देन यू कैन से एक्स हैज ट्वेंटी एट एलिमेंट मीन्स आई कैन से एन ऑफ एक्स इज ट्वेंटी एट एंड एन ऑफ वाई इज थर्टी टू नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ वाई इज थर्टी टू ही इज आस्किंग हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स डज एक्स इंटरसेक्शन वाई है इट्स अ सिंपल आई विल सॉल्व इट ओके ना first thing according to this i will write given what is the first problem you can say that now first given what is given using that problem i can say x union y means i can say number of elements of x union y is given how much how many elements it has 50 elements 50 okay and n of x number of elements of x x has how many i can say x has a 28 yes and n of y n of y has how many n of y has 32 so 32 elements what is asking n of x intersection y is equal to what is asking means uh, we know that formula is it like n of x union y means a union b is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b means i can say n of x union y means uh, the original formula is ab variable here xy are the variable i can write n of x plus n of y minus n of x intersection y here required thing is what uh, i need this this one i need means i can send this here when required things you take whatever the required thing you take in the lh side and remaining you send rh side because we know the value of this and n of x n of y taking that minus this side whenever you are taking minus rh to lh is this will become plus means i can say n of x intersection y is equal to this i will keep n of x plus n of y is equal to this this will become taking that side plus will become that side minus n of what x union y. so can i take the elements now it implies that n of x intersection y is equal to what is n of x n of x is a 28 i can write here in this case plus what is n of y n of y is 32 yes 32 Minus, what is union of this? Union of this is a fifty. What happens? See now, n of x intersection y is equal twenty eight plus thirty two. How much? Is it sixty? Thirty two plus eight is a forty. Forty plus twenty is a sixty. I can write sixty minus fifty. What will get ten? What it means? Means I can say x intersection y have. Ten elements. He is asking, what does how many elements does x intersection y have? I can say, n of x intersection y is equal to ten. Means I can say how many elements it has a uh, ten elements. It implies that you can say, therefore the required value, the required, the required number of elements of x intersection y is how much? This is the first problem. Now think it is you concentrate. What are the given things? You see the given things. It will be here everything. So only the thing is required thing you have to convert. This is the original formula. Using this original formula, you convert required form. So means actually n of x union y is equal to n of x plus n of y minus n of x intersection y. But required form is what I need this value. Means you convert that. Means you can take n of x intersection y is equal to I kept these two here and I am sending this one plus two minus because I need this. Which you want you can write in the LHS side. Remaining you can send in the case of RHS side. Write the values you will get a required thing. Nothing here. Okay, copy this. I will take second problem. Means this is over. I had done this. Next, I will take this one. Copy that. Now, can I remove first question? This is over. 
yeah i will take next one what is the second problem second problem i wrote already what it is see the given practical thing what is in a school there are 20 teachers we have one school in that school how many teachers are there 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics in a school there are how many teachers 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics we don't know exactly how many teach maths how many teach physics he is saying only 20 teachers teach maths or physics whenever maths or physics or comes that will be union okay then out of these 12 teach mathematics out of these 20 members how many are teaching mathematics 12 teach 12 members one two members teach mathematics and four teach both physics as well as mathematics means uh, here he has given both means uh, intersection physics and maths how many teach physics means he is asking n of means uh, on the basis of this i can write i can say first notation i will say let second problem solution let i will consider who teach mathematics i will say m who teach physics i will say p let m is equal to who teach maths for our convenient we are taking some variable and p is equal to who teach who teach physics okay now given what are the given things 20 teachers in a school there are 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics means union is given what is given n of m union p is equal to given 20 what it means this means that in the school there are 20 teachers they teach physics or maths that can be written as using union n of number of members who teach maths or physics is a 20 then another thing is given mathematics or physics okay out of these 12 teach mathematics how many 12 teach mathematics n of m who teach maths how many 12 and then he has given for teach both physics as well as mathematics when you are saying both both is nothing but m intersection p what it means who teach physics as well as mathematics how many he has given four only yes what we need the required thing is what how many teach physics how many teach physics means can i say n of p number of members who teach physics can be taken as n of p this is a question mark question mark is what a required thing again we know the formula we know that i can exchange variable a b instead of i will take this m union p can be written as n of m n of m plus n of p that only n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b i am writing n of m means mathematics who teach n of p physics minus n of m intersection p it is not mp this is a m intersection p m intersection p is what uh, who teach mathematics as well as physics so required thing is what uh, he is asking n of p means i need this one I want this value. I need this one. Okay. Means I can write. I can keep this. N of M union P. This I don't want. Take this side. When you are taking this side, it will become plus. Plus. N of M intersection P. Minus. Take this one also. N of M. Remains what? RHS side only. N of P. Means I can say 
it implies that NRP required thing you can write in the LHS side NRP means instead of writing this means uh, instead of RHS to LHS I can write that LHS is this side and th that will be right side means uh, NRP value is what N of M union P plus N of M intersection P minus N of M means what is the formula this is the required formula according to this I will use now I can say N of P is equal to how many teach maths or physics that can be set 20 yeah plus how many teach both that can be taken as four yeah then how many teach maths only this n of so 12 minus 12 yes how much it is plus 20 plus 4 is a 24 minus 12 how much is it 24 minus 12 is a 12 what happened this is a n of p means so it implies that n of p is equal to 12 what is this this is Therefore, in a school, 12 teach physics. I can say, in a school, in a school, in a school, there are, there are 12 teach physics. Is it clear? See the thing. In a school, required thing is what? In a school, there are 12 teach physics so using this you see the question exactly what is given and use the formula and using this knowing this formula convert required thing and find out the required value okay this is the second example next third problem this is given a third and a fourth I will take one by one third one is what in a class of 35 students how many 35 students 24 like to play cricket how many like to play cricket 24 24 members are like to play, play the cricket and 16 like to play football how many 16 like to play football also each student like to play at least one of the two games means uh, each student like to play at least one of the two games means uh, out of 35 these 35 to play at least one of the game how many students like to play both cricket and football the thing is both means intersection he is asking a uh, intersection of cricket and football and he has given union is what each student like to play one of the two game that I can take a union means in a class in a class of 35 students means I can solve this third one solution what is given I can say that before that I will say who play cricket that I will take some variable okay let capital A is equal to who play who play cricket okay B is equal to who play football now the thing is we have to he has, he has given in a class 35 students means I can say given that given that N of A union B means total number of students in the class but he is saying here each of the student like to play at least one of the two games means out of these 35 these 35 members are like to play one of the game so means I can say A union B is a 35 and also given n of a a is what uh, how many are playing cricket how many are playing cricket is it 24 yes and now and also n of b who play football how many 16 like to play football i can write 16 then he is asking n of a intersection b is equal to what he is asking what n of a intersection b means sir who play both cricket as well as football now we know that the formula what n of a union b originally here i took a is considered as a who play cricket b is considered as a who play football so n of a 
plus n of b minus n of a intersection g. So what is the required thing? Required thing is this. Means you take this side and you take LHS is RHS. Right? It implies that I can say n of a intersection b is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a in n. The thing is see what is the n of a this I need to find out here a intersection b is a who play both cricket as well as football n of a n of a is what 24 n of a is 24 I can say 24 plus n of b n of b 16 then minus n of a union b how much is given 35 so what happened see now n of a intersection b is equal to 24 plus 16 is it uh, 40 24 plus 16 6 plus 24 is a 30 plus 10 that means 6, 6, totally 24 plus 16 will give a 40 minus 35 we remains only 5 so it implies that I can say therefore how many student will play both cricket as well as football 5 means uh, 5 students 5 students play both cricket and football yes this is the required sum n of a intersection b is what a required value it is what n of a intersection b is equal to 5 means i can say 5 students play both cricket as well as football this you copy this is the third problem is it clear a is considered as a who play cricket b is considered as a who play football then union can be taken as the total number of the students who play at least one of the game 24 is considered as a cricket 16 is considered as a football he is asking both okay this is clear i will take next problem mm. this i will next problem in a survey of 400 students in a school 100 were listed as taking apple juice means uh, in particular one school they are conducting survey out of that school how many students are there 400 students in a school 100 were listed as taking apple juice means out of these 400 100 students are drinking apple juice and 150 as taking orange juice means uh, 150 students are taking orange juice and 75 were listed as taking apple and orange we can say as taking both apple both apple means it is intersection both apple and orange juice find how many were taking neither apple nor orange means we have to find out who are taking both who are not taking both apple juice nor orange juice means that he has given totally 400 students but out of these 400 uh, they are only 100 were taking uh, apple juice 150 are taking orange juice 75 were taking both apple and orange means we have to find out how many uh, are taking apple or orange juice using that we have to find out neither apple juice nor orange juice I will write first given let I will say some uh, variable case let I can say a is equal to who are taking who are taking apple juice apple juice second I will consider b who are taking orange juice listen here now given what is given there are 400 students there are 400 students means i can say in the case of school there are 400 means i can say total number of students means i can say that let let instead of this i can say let capital u is a total number of students in a school okay given now i can say given what is n of u n of u is a universal set means uh, 
there are how many students in the given school 400 students 400 is what a universal set what it means totally 400 students in the school and also given n of a n of a means what we are saying a is a who taking apple juice means how many are taking 100 100 students are taking apple juice is it apple juice and how many are taking orange juice that can be written as n of b n of b is 150 how many are taking both that can be written as a intersection b a intersection b is how much 75 see there this 150 are taking a orange and uh, both are taking this 75 we are taking both apple and orange means i can say a intersection b so using when you have n of a n of b n of a intersection knowing these three things you can find out n of a union b means that who are taking either apple or orange but we have to find out actually neither apple nor orange means uh, here i can write n of a union b is equal to this is the formula we know that n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b now the thing n of a union b means it is how many are taking either apple or orange so what is the n of a n of a is given 100 yes plus n of b 150 minus how many are taking uh, both 75 so that i can write 100 plus 150 is 250 minus 70 so is it 75 eliminate out of 250 out of 250 is 75 minus it means how much you will get is it 175 175 plus 75 is a 250 so i can write 175 what they are taking either either apple or orange but required thing is this it is not this we will find out neither apple nor orange means uh, it implies that i will eliminate this question he is asking neither apple nor orange and now he is asking what uh, the required the required the required is a dash intersection b dash what it means a is a taking apple juice b is a taking orange juice a dash not taking apple b dash not taking orange means uh, i can say that a complement is they are not taking apple b complement they are not taking orange means uh, when they are asking both neither nor means both means i can say neither apple nor orange means uh, this is what you can say that here a dash intersection b dash is what neither neither apple nor orange okay then i can say what is the formula we know that this formula also we know that n of a dash intersection b dash in the previous class in the case of lecture 6 i discussed this formula is n of universal set minus n of a union b see there in the previous class i discussed about this so n of a dash intersection b dash is equal to what is n of u n of u is the total number of students in the school can i say 400 is it 400 students yes minus how many 175 175 400 minus 175 eliminate n of a dash intersection b dash can i say 175 means can i say 400 minus 175 is a 225 225 plus 75 is a 300 plus 100 is a 400 means better you can say 400 minus 175 is how much 200 25 remains out of this eliminating what is this there are 225 students are taking neither apple nor orange therefore i can say 
225 students students are taking neither neither you can say neither apple juice nor nor orange orange juice is it clear the thing is very clear see the uh, solution he is asking that uh, neither nor if you want to find out neither nor you find out first either or means if you want to find out a dash intersection b dash first you find out a union b because a dash intersection b dash is always total number of the universal set minus total number of the a union b so according to that you can say who are taking apple juice who are taking orange juice that you can write total number of the students is a 400 and using this you can follow so this is very clear and this will be very important problem and practice because you will get in the test or you can say in the exam case you will get three marks question okay i will take next uh, it is fourth one i will take fifth next one fifth one so in the fourth case i had done related to apple and orange juice the same problem everything is same only data are different and a problem concept is different nothing problem is same everything is same so here see the problem fifth one in a survey of 600 students in a school 150 students were found to be taking tea and 225 taking coffee 100 were taking both tea and coffee find how many students were taking neither tea nor coffee it is like same neither apple nor orange juice so here total is given 600 you consider n of you total number of uh, you can say students in the particular survey 600 is a n of universal set like previous problem and 150 were taking t means you can say n of t you can take a notation t is equal to who are taking t you consider 150 and then who are taking coffee you consider 225 that is you can say n of c then 100 were taking both t and coffee you consider t intersection coffee then how many students were taking neither t nor coffee nothing it is you add first you find out union 150 plus 225 minus you can take 100 then later you can find out using union you find out this means uh, out of this uh, 600 you minus it uh, you will get this so you can try this this is a uh, i am giving homework because it is same as in the case of previous problem fourth problem following that fourth you can do it same formula everything is same only the thing is numbers data are different okay next sixth one i will solve this sixth problem because uh, uh, fourth and this fifth are same fourth i had done fifth one you can do it i hope you will do now sixth one there are 200 individuals with skin disorder i said we are solving some daily life problems there are 200 individuals with skin disorder 120 had been exposed to chemical C1. 120 members are exposed by chemical C1 and 50 for chemical C2 and 30 for both C1 and C2. Find the number of individuals exposed to chemical C1 but not C2. Chemical C2 but not C1. Chemical C1 or chemical seed one thing you see there are how many 200 individuals i can say universal set is what here 200 members out of those members how many are suffering means they are exposed to chemical seed means i can say 120 members or you can say individuals they are suffering by chemical c1 that is next 50 members 120 are suffering by chemical c1 i can say had been exposed to chemical c1 
50 टू केमिकल C2 50 members are suffering by chemical C2 and 30 members or you can say 30 individuals are suffering by both C1 and C2 means I can say intersection find the number of individuals exposed to chemical C1 but not C2 chemical C1 but not C2 means uh, I can say it is generally they are not giving in the while solving I can say C1 C1 but not C2 means it is like A minus B A but not B A but not B can be written as A minus B I can say C1 but not C2 means can I write C1 minus C2 yes what is second one chemical C2 but not C1 mathematical I can say I can write it is C2 minus C1 and then C1 chemical C1 or C2 can be written as a C1 union C2 okay this you take homework I will solve this one so I will remove this uh, uh, fifth one this you can take as a homework now we will solve sixth one okay what is the sixth one solution things can I say chemical C1 I can say that let U is total number of persons or you can say individuals individuals okay U is a total number of individuals with skin disorder with skin disorder okay and I will say let C1, C1 indicates who are exposed to, who are exposed to chemical C1, C2 who are exposed to chemical C2, using this I can find out. What are the things are given here? Yes. What is the universal set? Given things. N of U. Universal set. How many members totally? There are 200 individuals. I can say N of U is a 200 members. N of C. C1. C1 who are exposed to chemical C1. How many? 120 members. 120 members. N of C2. What is N of C2? Who are exposed to chemical C2? How many members? 50 members you can say. And 30 to both chemical C1 and C2. When we are saying both, we will say this is the intersection. Means I can say N of C1 intersection C2 also given. How many members? 30. Nothing here, everything is given, only the thing is simple. Using this, find the number of individuals exposed to first one, chemical C1 but not C2. First one, chemical C1, chemical C1 but not C2, but not C2 can be written as can I say C1 minus C2 yes according to set I can find out now N of C1 minus C2 what is the formula N of A minus B is a N of A minus N of A intersection B I can say N of C1 minus N of C1 intersection C2 what you will get now N of C1 minus C2 will give a N of C1. N of C1 is how much? 120 members. Yes. Minus N of C1 intersection C2 30. How much it is? 120 minus 30. Is it 90 members? Yes. 90 members are what? It implies that N of C1 minus C2 is nothing but 90 members 
90 individuals are exposed by C1 but not C2. This is a first bit. Next, what is second bit? Second bit he is asking who are exposed to chemical C2 but not C1. Okay. Second one, second bit. Means I can say chemical C2 but not C1 can be written as can I say C2 minus C1 when we are saying B minus A is a B but not A so like that in this case I can find out what is now this implies that N of C2 minus C1 is equal to N of first which is C2 you can say N of C2 minus n of c1 intersection c2 what is the n of c2 c2 minus c1 is equal to n of c2 is how much n of c2 is a 50 50 minus n of c1 intersection c2 is it 30 yes how many members n of c2 minus c1 is equal to 20 members what it is 20 members are exposed to Chemical C2 but not C1. Third one. What is the third one? Third one. Chemical C1 or chemical C2. Chemical C1 or C2. Chemical Chemical C1 or C2. Can be written as Can be written as Can be written as can be written as C1 union C2. There are totally 200 are individuals, but out of those, I can find out here N of C1 is given, N of C2 is given, N of C1 intersection C2 is given means we can find out N of C1 union C2. We know the formula N of C1 union C2 can be written as N of C1 minus N of C2 plus it is sorry okay. mm. plus n of c2 minus n of c1 intersection c2 the thing is see n of c1 union c2 is equal to n of c1 plus n of c2 minus n of c1 intersection c2 so n of c1 union c2 can be obtained by n of c1 is how much n of c1 is a 120 yes plus N of C2, N of C2 is 50 members minus N of C1 intersection C2 is given by 30. Yes, what happened? This can be 120 plus 50 is a 170 minus 30. When you are taking 170 minus 30, you will get 140 members. What these are? These people are suffered by chemical C1 or chemical C2 okay this is the problem only the thing is given you see total number here this is the total number we are not using while calculating we are not using 200 they are totally only the thing is he is asking chemical C1 but not C2 can be obtained by C1 minus C2 it is A minus B like N of C1 minus C2 is a formula in the lecture 6 I done all N of C1 minus N of C1 intersection C2 use the numbers and calculate you will get this and chemical C2 but not C1 can be obtained by writing this C2 minus C1 then you can say N of C2 minus C1 intersection C2 using that you can say 20 members are exposed by chemical C2 but not chemical C1 then A or B like C1 or C2 these people are these individuals are suffering by C1 or C2 that can be taken as a this formula using this you can say 140 individuals are suffered by chemical C1 or C2. These are the six problems in this class. So still some uh, more examples. I will take some uh, nearly four to five examples on the basis of this in the next class. Okay. Follow this correctly and compulsory how to uh, complete that previous I have given one homework that you can follow the previous problem. Fourth problem, following fourth problem, you will get fifth one. Okay.